Um, firstly, I'm very pleased about the, the level of support that we, we received. Um, people obviously appreciated the difficulty of dealing with the incidents on the night. Um, I think there's a huge interest, which I think is a good thing for, for society and for the communities around here. We need to understand what happened, what were the causes. Um, for me, I think one of the key issues here is not to get into simplistic explanations. Uh, there are there will be a number of different reasons why different people got involved. I think we need to understand that. Um, and, and I also think we need to be really careful that we don't jump to conclusions and make some silly changes on the basis of of a small number of incidents. So, you know, we had people talking about the Riot Act. You know, do we really want to change legislation in that way that could inhibit people's freedoms? I think we need to be very careful about that. There's also been questions about um, police training and, and um, people, the equipment that they have to deal with public disorder. Do we really want all of our cops being trained to deal with that? I think we don't, because if we if we end up with that, we end up with people needing to be trained all the time, spending lots of money on on uh, on public order equipment that the, that the majority of people don't need. We had a small number of incidents. The um, the tactics and the equipment and the training we had up to then have been effective for 30 years. We need to understand why they seem less effective in, the, in these circumstances and do a more considered approach.